Oh, you just here. Hello, mate. Good to see ya. Hi. She's just very confused, you know? She didn't care who I was till I put on the mask. Ha ha ha, classic meme. Classic, classic. And if I, if I put the focus here, it gets it. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, so... Um... I'm not very good at social media. I'm about to burp, so get ready. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm really terrible at it. I used to be all right. I used to be the sort of kid who would look at like the companies doing like Twitter and whatnot, like, you know, doing social media presence. And I'd think, gosh, you guys just do not get the vibe, you know, cause you want to create that sense of authenticity. You want to subvert expectations on social media to sort of create like, you know, like a cool vibe and people like me in my generation grew up and then that's what they did so that glut of sort of authentic sort of responses on social media was that generation doing it and they've probably all been fired now um you know they had a good run and you know i'm i'm not very good at social media anymore what i want to be able to do is i just want to be able to offload it to people um because i'm just not good at it to be honest you know like yeah it's just it's just i'm it's not my scene anymore. Like, I, I want to keep off the computer as much as possible. And I want my job more so is to create just beauty, I suppose. Just you beauty stuff that gets people off porn and just like, you know, that sort of stuff. And I'm going to document that. But if you're that sort type of person who's just like, there is nothing more I would love to do than to generate an authentic social media presence that bounce, like different accounts that bounce off each other. And that, there we go, there it comes, hold on. Like that, right? Show them the bloody, show them that we're people, you know? Instead of like a, you know, a brand, like people just working together to create a difference with social media. But really, like, the common understanding is that, in fact, you need to create the real way to make difference, like, make a difference around the world is to start locally instead of just, you know, just create, like, can you think of a social media um, thing that made a difference somehow? Yes, you can. It's the ice bucket challenge. But apart from that, not really anything. Like, well, for instance, we're not really going to get to, like, you know, mass freedom from pornography through protests, for instance. And our task is made more difficult by the fact that no one wants to talk about it either. You know, it's like, you know, there's a stigma against it, which I'm gonna work on, like, you know, just, I'm gonna effort post on the easy peasy rewrite, and I'll give you, like, you know, you'll see, this is with the clickbaity stuff that's sort of like reading out like a chapter from the easy peasy rewrite, that like it's all done and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's just, it's like a, yeah, I, I just, I just want to work on stuff like that. But like, don't get me wrong, people are good at it. What? Pardon me, I'm having a brain fart. So if that's you, who is just, you know, like, goodness gracious me, could I please have a social media account to run? Um, there is a Discord server that you can like go down to and uh, you know just hit me up, ping me on Discord. My username is Fraser Patterson because it helps you know dissolving a digital ego, that like you know making sure it doesn't start. And uh, yeah, I would really appreciate your help. Like if you're the, if you're looking around at the social media presence now and you're seeing what I saw back then, but like different, you know, like it would be very appreciated if you could put that to use on an authentic campaign about sort of just, you know, yeah, driving local action against pornography, but also raising awareness about it through a social media thing. Like that's like the dual pronged approach. There's actually a triple pronged approach, but you know, that's besides the point. See, I just don't want to deal with it. It's not my thing. I'm not going to be as good at it as someone who is like keen. So yeah, um, yeah, if that's you, I would appreciate your help, um, but you know, Anyway, catch you later. Excuse me, love.